In 1998, an Indian advocate against child labor, Kailash Satyarthi, began an unimaginable journey. Starting out from Philippines, he walked around the world for 80,000 kilometers, mobilizing 15 million people to join his call to end child labor and promote education for all. Seven million of these people stamped their footprints as the testimony of their support to the march. After traversing across continents, he reached Geneva, where the ILO's International Labour Conference was being held. It was for the first time that ILO opened its doors to the civil society and gave a warm welcome to the marchers. In recognition of every child's right to education and ending their exploitation, a sculpture was erected with tools and guns used by child laborers, which were then buried at the site, immortalizing the call of global march. With great hope and with a sense of achievement, the marchers were warmly welcomed inside the International Labour Conference Hall, where, along with the former victims of child exploitation, Kailash Satyarthi called upon the governments, employers, and workers to take a pledge against child labour and adopt an international law against it. During this time. Mr Satyarthi also advocated for a dedicated day on raising awareness on the issue which is now celebrated as the World Day Against Child Labour on 12th June. Mr. President, today may be the last day of our long marches from five different continents to Geneva, but it is not the end. This is the beginning of a bigger journey. Those who are involved in the march cannot say goodbye to each other, and we are not going to do so. We will go forward. together hand in hands for a bigger movement the global movement against child labor the global march invites to all the delegates of this conference to join the movement and place in place to take and make this world this planet free of child labor and to bring it down where each single child would be in school would be in playground thank you mr president again Global March made the world recognize the existence of child labor and the need to bring justice to all vulnerable children an issue which was long ignored and denied The success of global march against child labor does not lie only in universal adoption and ratification of a new international law to combat the worst forms of child labor or building a worldwide movement the largest ever movement for me the biggest success is that we have made the most marginalized children of the world visible and heard nobody can ignore their voice nobody can ignore their 
issues now. But as we know, the dozens of millions of children are still enslaved and still working as child laborers. Even if one single child is in danger, the world is not safe. If one single child is in slavery, we can't call ourselves free. And therefore, my march is not over. I am marching and I call upon you to march with me for restoration of childhood, freedom and education of every single child.